Blakeville, a town with a population just a little over 12,000. And to the untrained eye, it could look like just a few lakes, a couple of churches, and a subway. So you're probably asking yourself, what if you're an atheist who doesn't like sandwiches? What is there to do? Well, that's where I come in. I'm Boston Paquette, and I'm going to show you things to do in Lakeville. Seeing that it is now sweater weather, according to my aunt's most recent Instagram post, I thought nothing would show off festive activities better than the Lakeville Arts and Music Fall Festival. So on September 30th, I got an early start to my day and headed off to the festival, where I was able to go and interact with townsfolk along with vendors and, of course, get into the fall spirit. Well, that's all right. Yeah, you kind of... No, no. To be a town crier, you have to... Like that. Right no, 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 no. Watch. It's okay. it's all in the swing. Oh, the okay? swing. You just like okay. that. Okay. All right. You're getting it. Yeah. yeah. I started my day off by talking to some local vendors. How are you? I'm Dave. I'm Dave's Pottery. So you make pottery. I do. That's very I cool. I live not too far from here in Lakeville, and uh, this is always a very great festival. And Lakeville is very welcoming, open community, and really supportive of artisans. Do you have a favorite design that you brought here? You know, I kind of like doing these little sculptural things, like, as an example, these are brand new. I only made a few, but I'm going to be making a lot more. I'm having an open house. If you check out davespottery.org, that's my website, and you'll see them. And there'll be a lot of that on sale. But I like making all of it. Anything handmade to me is great. Hello. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? We work with our uh, local access channel. I was wondering if, if it's cool if we like do a little interview with you about your knitting and stuff. Crocheting, sorry. Cool. Do, you have, do you have a favorite like one that you've made or like yeah. a favorite style? Yeah. Uh, I absolutely love my little puppy sweaters. Oh, that is that is cute. Yeah. So do he, real, do he's ever he's modeling. On, do you ever put them on real dogs? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, that's what they're for. Nice. Yep, yep. Would they work on a cat or? Uh, the smaller ones would probably work on a cat. That's sure. Cool. I like th this. This is kind of interesting. Yeah, these are fingerless gloves. And so basically the way these work is the inside glove actually can come out as I throw it on the floor. The inside glove comes out so you can put whatever color you'd like on the inside. That's, it's like very customizable. Yep. I like and that. then you can wear it without. Oh, okay. That way you can still use your phone because that's well, very important very in this important day and age. Yes. yes, exactly. I'm Boston, by the way. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I was born in Florida. We have all our jams and jellies. Nice. I've been making it for over 60 years, and oh. my mother and grandmother before me. That's awesome. Uh, you guys are eating noodles? Yes, we are. Are they good? They're really good. I highly recommend the noodles. Is that true? You'd <laughs> Yeah, highly recommend. <laughs> so, uh, do you guys live in Lakeville? I do live in Lakeville. And you decided to come to the Lakeville Fall Festival because... Because it's really fun. It's really fun? Yep. Yeah. Do, do you have any other reason? Um, all the shops are really cool. Do you have a favorite shop? Um, the candle one was really good. The oh, candle. the gnomes are really nice. Wait, Mom, come here. We have a gnome. Whoa. Wow. It's any... a Thanksgiving gnome. Oh, because he's holding a pumpkin? Yeah. Do you want to name it? Uh, is that is that okay with you if I name your gnome? <laughs> Gerald? <laughs> Gerald. <laughs> do you guys want to say anything about the festival? Like, do you like it or do you I hate like it? it? I like it. There's a lot of dogs here. A lot of dogs? Yeah. Is that yeah. is that a complaint? or is No, that... it's good. No, it's good. It's good. Like, is there like a booth where there's just a bunch of dogs? No. <laughs> no. Like, you're just walking around. Oh, yeah. okay. I was going to, that's like such a weird booth idea. Yeah. Just a booth with dogs? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you guys are Lakeville's Boy Scouts? Yes, we are. Yeah. We are located right behind this church, actually. All the time? All the time. Yeah, Mostly. Tuesdays when we have our meetings. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, so not all, all the time, all the time. Not all the time. But every Tuesday. Every Tuesday we have meetings right behind the church and inside the church. <laughs> Thankfully, the, church, the people at the church luckily have granted us the permission to use the, this wonderful church as a place to have our meetings. My name is Trevor the Games Man. Here we are at Lakeville Arts and Music Festival 2023. Have a blast. Come on down. Oh, yeah. It is my arm, Slinky. Here we His go. Watch this. Slinky. You wish you had one of these. I wish I did. After about an hour or two of good, fun town activities, my stomach was hungry. Luckily for me, they were selling fried Oreos behind the church. I have fried Oreo. Okay, well, what you need, I need a slip telling me you want okay. <laughs> I messed I messed up Four. one uh, one of the one fried of the Oreos okay yes. use tongs to push the Oreos down and then like flip them so that they can be covered in batter okay the hot tray that's one. <laughs> oh, it's bu it's bubbling. Yep, that means that the batter is reacting with the the oil. Do you know the science behind that, or just? Mm, I do not. But hey, that's okay. Just wait, and you wait 15 to 25 seconds until they're crispy brown, and then you shake the tray to move them around so that they flip. Like a pancake, kind of. Yeah. Go ahead. And how is it today, sir? That is very good. You make a great fried Oreo. And thank you. Thank you. Once my stomach was filled with fried Oreos, it was back to fall activities. Did you make this fire too? Yes. Wow. I'm, I'm not too good at making fires myself. <laughs> I always have to have my dad help me. Uh, we're giving away some free Oh, I have kids today. That's fine. Oh, that's, that's fun. That's good. Cool. Could I? Do I still count as a kid? I'm 17. That's yeah, kids of all ages. So, yeah, you got to rotate it in there and just tune in and make sure you get it. You can start that fire. Oh, it's on. What do I do? Blow it up. Okay. It's really good, thank you. Say hi to Joe Sanders. Oh, we will, we will. Thank you. You take the left one, it's my left, you have it. And you're gonna go over the white one, and then you can go under like this. Okay. And then you take your white rope, you put it over the left rope. Okay. Then you go under, through the hole, and then you have a square knot. You use oh, that oh. to like tie two ropes together. It's pretty solid. It's a friction knot, so the more you pull on it, the tighter it gets. Want to yeah. see a cool trick? This is, uh, you learn this if you go into the like, cable TV industry. Oh, nice. I think that's what I was trying to do. No, I don't think so. that straight line. If that was a snake right there, bang, throw it out, you go grab the mic kit, you put it on the table, we're done in 30 minutes.
We got some noodles that smelt like my grandma's house. Luckily, they didn't taste like my grandma's house. Well, I guess I, I don't know for sure. I've never, I've never tried to taste my grandma's house. I don't even know how you'd go about to try to taste a house. I guess you'd lick the floor. And I don't, this is getting too weird. Never mind. The festival was simply fantastic. However, near the end of the day, the bellman said something to me that caught me out of left field. He told me he was a clown for 65 years and had just recently retired and told me to email him if I ever want to do a show about it, which sounds freaking awesome. But then I got to thinking, he was a clown, yet to me, I had no idea and I only saw him as the bellman, not a clown. Then I started to wonder who else here at the festival was just putting on a show, an act that was not truly themselves. And then who else in the world is just merely wearing a costume of a persona? Well, unrelated to this, someone else told me about a pet costume parade happening the next day. So I went to check it out. Dogs, what are they? Who are they? And how did they get here? All those questions will be answered today at the Lakeville Pet Parade. My name is Barbara Bell, and this is the business is Bags by BB. Um, I've made all the bags. I, I use leather, cork, um, designer vinyl, and home decor material uh, to make the bags. Right now, this is my favorite. Well, that's, that's like a bag. Those are bags on a bag. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. That's that's. Speak. She's gonna love on you. She's not gonna speak. Are you guys having a good time? Of course they are. That's Bailey. Hi. That's Bailey. Oh, I like the bumblebee costume, yeah. Bailey. Hi, Beans. How are you today? I'm the best day ever. <laughs> uh, I like your costume. What, what made you want to be a dinosaur? Wow, they're very friendly. They're Beans so, and they're so are nice. <laughs> oh, they're so nice. <laughs> Are you having a good time today? <laughs> nice. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Why didn't you wear a costume today? Oh, yeah. That makes sense. The Friends of the Council on Aging is a volunteer group that raises money for the Council on Aging. And we have many events throughout the year. We've raised money to help them for different things that they need, which are not covered by their budget. And uh, we hope that everybody is aware that the Council of Aging, our seniors in town, uh, need their support. Yeah. The one with the, uh, the one with like the pink on the eyes and then the lipstick and stuff. Could, could I make a craft? You can do whatever awesome. you like, of course. These are the pens for that guy. Sweet. The puppy parade was a very nice occasion, and I was having a lot of fun. However, every minute it increasingly smelt more and more of dog poop. But then I got wind that there was going to be a puppy wedding, so I knew I had to interview the bride. All right, all right. Are, are you excited? Say no, I'm very nervous. 
very nervous. You can see me shivering. It's okay. Do you not like your, your husband to be? I'm very nervous about that as well. I don't know who picked him out for me. Oh, it's a range? It was an arranged marriage, oh, yes. No. I'm yeah. sorry, Freckles. They, yeah, they, didn't apply, they didn't apply for this uh, arranged marriage. Freckles, I hope it goes good. Thanks for your time. Well, they were both rescue dogs. Oh, then it'll, it'll be good. They'll, they'll, they'll love each other. Well now, in front of your families and community, by the authority given to me by the state of Massachusetts, <laughs> I pronounce you joined. May you have awesome lives together. Our ceremony is ended. After seeing these two puppies get married to one another and figure out their future, I started to become self-conscious because how can two dogs know more about where their life is headed than me, a human? I ended up moping around for the rest of the day until when I was driving back to my house, I spotted a sign that said there was going to be a psychic fair happening the following Saturday. Finally, a chance to see where my path was going. When I arrived at the psychic fair, I explained how I work for Lakeville's local TV station and how I've been going around filming local festivals. Luckily for me, the psychic was okay with us filming. When the reading started, the psychic caught me completely off guard. She explained to me that she got the sense I wanted to pursue TV communications and journalism after high school. How did she know? I feel like you're somebody, like I'm um, hearing that you're somebody that can actually talk to somebody and, um, you know, put yourself out there and say, this is what I want, okay, and this is why I want to go that way, all right? So, um, can you understand somebody trying yeah, to, yeah? I can, yeah. yeah. Are all your grandfathers here? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Do you know your great, do you know? I knew one of them. A little bit when I was like little. I was okay, like but do you know you don't know his characteristics or anything like that? Uh, he was that. always nice to me. Yeah, I, you know, I'm just getting a sense of this gentleman that's coming in. He's a taller gentleman. Okay, he's on the taller side. Okay, I feel like I was very slim with him. Okay, I feel like um, I passed in my 80s. Okay, I feel like I'm athletic with him too. So I feel like even though I went back way back, I just feel like I'm very athletic. Okay, I feel like I like to ba take the basketball. Okay. Um, do you like basketball? No, not, not <laughs> no, really. No, because he's bringing a basketball in. That's why. So I feel like he liked, you know, like he was more sports, or, you know, sports oriented and stuff like that. Um, so I think I, I feel like with him, um, um, he's telling me you're more like an academic kind of person. OK, um, I feel like you're he's saying, you know, like I was more like, um, you know, um, <clears throat> He says, I was, <laughs> he's so funny, he says, I wasn't on his level, because I feel like he's saying you're at a higher level, okay, but I feel like he was like a really good guy, okay, really, just really, he's just coming in with a lot of love for you, okay, <laughs> but I feel like he's seeing, you know, good things to you coming up, okay, but he was just showing me, he's saying, yeah, he's on a panel, he's on a panel, like a debate thing and everything like that. Um, Once one of my great-grandfathers was done calling me a nerd and being disappointed with my lackluster basketball skills, the psychic told me that she had picked up a reading that a cat was nearby. Your cat wasn't black and white, was it? Well, I, so I had three cats. One cat was black and white. I have a 
and it, that's passed? Yeah, they're all, yeah, all three. Because I just saw a black and white cat oh, come by because wow. I, I asked them to see if I could get a cat. <laughs> like, normally I don't, but a black and white wow. cat came by. That's funny. That was yeah. actually, I, that was my least favorite one okay, out of the three. Well. <laughs> but I, I can't. <laughs> no, that's okay. That's still nice. That it, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, um, <laughs> I feel like this cat had an attitude. Yeah, it did. yeah. I, I feel like it's it's just it's just like looking at me and it's, it had this attitude. Like you didn't know whether you could pat it or not. Because I feel like I'm I like I want to go towards it and it's like taking its paw and going yeah. like that. So I feel like it's one of those that. Yeah, it was you know, a really cute cat. It was like but a love hate relationship I, with yeah. the cat, you know. You know, with this one here, I feel like sometimes you have to put, you have to. Pro, you know get that inner strength in you okay so I feel like um, I like feel like like sometimes you're going into a situation and you got to psych yourself up can you understand that yeah. it's almost like okay I can do this I can do this I can do this so I, it's almost like drawing in on your inner strength so I feel like they're saying like sometimes it's like to psych yourself up you know right. like and you ever heard of like affirmations and stuff like that because no. I'm hearing affirmations so it's like almost like you put like little sayings you know like um, today's my day or oh. you know like look at up. it's like affirmations yeah. like it's like positive affirmations to reinforce you know like you ever see like um tony robbins when he puts his headphones on yeah. and he goes into an audience yeah like, i lied i've never seen that i feel like what i feel like what they want to do is to get you while you're young get your confidence built up and you know get that strength in a strength in you so that when you go present yourself it's like yeah awesome thanks there's something about a car with you are you a car a, a car. car yeah um, I, they just showed me a car. So what, what did the car look like? Was um, it just like a generic? Like, no, it's like I feel like they're saying you have a car in mind that you want to get. I feel. Like, no, but I uh, a couple months ago I was backing out of the driveway at yeah. work and I, I I backed into a lady's car and I left a dent okay. in the side. Yeah. So and I'm still paying that off. Okay. So now. So okay. may maybe, maybe that's yeah, because they brought in a car. That's why. Oh. Okay, and it's um um, it, uh, it's almost like um. It felt really reassuring to me to hear that the psychic believed in my future as long as I kept pushing myself. Unfortunately, it had actually already been 15 minutes, and the session was over. So actually, 15 minutes is up. Okay. Well, you just saw me get a psychic reading at today's psychic fair, Saturday, October 7th, at. American Legion in Berkeley, MA. Berkeley. None of that footage is usable. All right, so we left our house this morning and put American Legion to the GPS and we didn't see those in Berkeley. Like none of that, we were just here for three hours. We just won't put it in the, Okay, yeah. we'll just cut it out in post. Cut it in post. Unfortunately for me, the psychic fair was being held in Berkeley, not Lakeville. So I wouldn't be able to see what my future held. But I got thinking, maybe it isn't always best to know your future, to have your life planned out, everything you must do on a set list, an exact plan for your future. If you think too much about your future, you could be missing out on the present. Sure, I may not know if when I grow up, I'll actually become Batman or an astronaut, but I know right now, I will not be missing out on anything to do in Lakeville. I'm Boston Paquette, and I'll see you next time.